All right, now there are a couple of important applications on Samsung Galaxy phones which most of us regularly use. That is the calendar application and the reminder application. Both of them have got a brand new update and this should be available on most of the latest Samsung Galaxy phones. Now let me just press and hold on the reminder application here, tap on this eye icon. I'll go to the app details in store. You can see the latest version is 12.5.03.16. Update date is 29th May 2024 and the size is about 28 MB. And in the change log, it talks about a couple of minor changes. One is provision of cover screen widget for Galaxy Z Flip. Now this is for only Z Flip devices. Uh, it will not be applicable for any other Galaxy phones. On the cover screen, now we will have a widget for the reminder application, which is fantastic. I don't have a flip device with me, so I will not be able to show you this particular feature. And the second minor change here is provision of view button when changing categories or restoring completed reminders. Now let me show you how this feature works. Let me open the reminder application. Now we will be able to move these reminders from one category to another. Now let me just tap on this three dot button and go to all categories. Now here, let me open uh, my reminders. Now what I'll do is I will just try to move a particular reminder from this category to another. Let me just select this. I'll press and hold on it. You see, we've got move button. I'll tap on move. Now I will move it to another reminder category. Let's say purple. Now you see, we get to see this view reminder. I can just tap on that to view that particular reminder after adding it into this category. So that is the new feature. It's a very minor change that we have, but this is something which may be useful in case if you want to view that uh, reminder after moving it from one category to another. Now that's for the reminder application. Now let's open the calendar application. Let me tap on this eye icon and go to the uh, app details in store. Now here, there are a few changes. You can see we have got a, a big change lock here and uh, the version number is 12.5.03. The update date is 29th May and the size is 48.88. Now here we have got about uh, five changes mentioned, but I was not able to figure out everything. I will let you know what I was able to figure out. And uh, uh, if I'm missing something here, you can uh, drop a comment and share your thoughts about it. That would benefit the community. The first one is sticker sync supported in Samsung shared calendar. What this means is uh, if there is a shared calendar on your calendar application, the stickers on the calendar will also be synced or uh, it will be uh, supported when you share a calendar. Let me just open the uh, calendar app here. Let me tap on this uh, hamburger menu and uh, let me tap on manage calendars here. Now this is where you will find shared calendars. I've got multiple uh, different accounts with which I have shared the calendars. Now you can see from Samsung account, I can tap on this create shared calendar. We can name it and we can select a particular color for this calendar and I can tap on create. Now you see it says uh, choose contacts or add Samsung accounts, share link, anyone with the link and Galaxy device can join. So this is how we share the calendar with others. And we also have this default edit permission. When I tap on this, you see we've got invited people can edit option, invited people can view only option. So we'll be able to share the calendars through this with others and uh, the stickers will also be supported now on the shared calendars. Now let's go back here. The second one is adding events supported in cover calendar widget. Now again, this is for the cover screen calendar widget for the foldables perhaps. So this is not applicable for our uh, uh, regular phones. Then we have date selector UI updated. Now this is something which I was not able to see. While creating a particular calendar, you see we've got the date selector option here let me just tap on this. Now this is how we select the dates here, but uh, there is no changes or improvements on this particular section. Uh, if I'm not wrong, this is what Samsung is talking about in this area. There is some improvement uh, while selecting the dates, but this is as good as before. There is no improvements or changes that I'm able to see. If you are able to see any changes, do share it in the comment section. The next one is Samsung Wallet UI has been updated. Now you may be wondering why Samsung Wallet UI has been mentioned here. Samsung should have mentioned it clearly, but uh, this short change log does not help us understand anything. What I understand is this is something to do with the Wallet UI. Let me just open the uh, Samsung Wallet. Now here, let me tap on all. I will tap on this three dot button and tap on settings. Now in Samsung wallet settings, we have got this option account and syncing. I'll tap on this. You see, we have got add events to calendar. Events such as voucher expirations and ticket dates will be automatically added to the calendar. So if you have any vouchers, uh, its expiration dates and uh, ticket dates will be added to the calendar. If you have enabled this particular feature on wallet. Now the UI for this has been improved. Now, since I do not have any vouchers or any tickets, uh, I may not be able to show you this particular option, but I'll probably make a different video to show you how this has been synced with the calendar. Now the UI for uh, the Samsung wallet has been updated it see. The next one is Luna date reputation settings updated. Now again, I'm not very sure 
uh, about uh, the changes in this particular section but let me just show you where the lunar date options are available let me open the calendar i will tap on this uh, hamburger menu now here let me go to these settings now you see we have got this alternate calendar option when i tap on this we have got uh, korean lunar chinese lunar vietnamese lunar and a couple of more options so this is the lunar calendar we have got and uh, perhaps the change is with respect to this particular uh, uh, section i'm not very sure about the improvements that we have in that section so let me know if you are able to see something there if you are able to figure out any changes do drop a comment that would definitely help the community now these are the changes that we have for the calendar application as well as reminder application that's all i want to share with you guys uh, let me know whether you have received the update or not and yeah if you're interested in this wallpaper you can go ahead and check out the link in the description and download it every video i post will have a brand new wallpaper you can check out all my previous videos and download the new wallpapers if you like them that's all i have here thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye